Debt ceiling or banking turmoil? What are you most worried about? Happy to be here. Well, I think the debt ceiling is potentially catastrophic. Yeah. So that, that's a whole different issue. Hopefully it won't happen. You know, the banking crisis, I still believe, will kind of sort its way through. And it's not anything like 08 or 09. Uh, only a couple of people are offsides with all these various things, which you knew about. Right. Um, so hopefully, you know, it's getting near the tail end of that. But if you're Janet Yellen right now, what would you do differently? I don't know. I think we need to finish the bank crisis. I think we've, been, we've had uncertain policy on mergers, this First Horizon deal. I think we have to assume there'll be a little bit more. Yeah. So, you know, whatever the FDIC, the OCC, the Federal Reserve, you know, whatever they need to do to, to uh, make it better, they should do. Be thoughtful, be very forward-looking, you know, not be surprised constantly, because some of these things have been known about for quite a while. And so uh, we've handled three, SVB, Signature, First Republic, and so... But I think it's very important. The regional banks, who I've been speaking to like every day for the last week, they're quite strong. You know, they're quite worried because of the you know, run on deposits like that. But their financial results are good. Their yeah. financial results are going to be good, okay, next quarter. You know, they're earning money. They've got very good clientele, very diversified. Uh, uh, and they're, they're quite you're strong. So you're asking for like a comprehensive solution. So if you're asking Janet Yellen to get the job done, what does that look like, that solution? I'm not asking for a comprehensive solution. Why not? Just be prepared for problems. There's no, we don't need a comprehensive solution. What do we need right now? Do we, do we need regulators to look at short sellers of banks? Yes. You know, like, look, my folks would tell me that that's not the problem, the short selling ban. If you actually analyze stocks and short sales, it's not, doesn't seem that big a deal. I think they may partially be wrong. Uh, because, as you know, some people are unscrupulous and they use other means to go short. I think that if, but if you look at the detail, the SEC has the enforcement capability to look at what people are doing by name in, in options, derivatives, short sales. And they should go, if someone's doing anything wrong, people are in collusion or people going short and then making a tweet you know, about a bank, they should go after them. And, and, and vigorously, and they should be punished to the full extent the law allows it. So uh, I think it's possible it's taking place. We have no evidence of it, yep. but you know, my experience in life has been don't, don't assume too much.